Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing well. So today we're going to be looking at some long-lasting summery fragrances that I have in my collection. I thought this video would be appropriate seeing as today we have had 27 degrees here in Scotland. It has been absolutely sweltering, you guys. Um, and I've got some fragrances to share with you that give really nice summery holiday vibes, but they're very strong and long lasting. So get yourself comfortable and relaxed, grab a drink if you would like. Today I've got a lovely mug of coffee here with me. And um, if it's your first time here, then welcome. I create videos on my channel all about fragrances mainly, but also beauty, um, lifestyle, skincare, just various different things. So if any of that sounds interesting, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel below. Oh, that coffee is so good. Um, I've also just done my nails just before I started filming there. Don't know how good they look. Um, I was in a wee bit of a rush, but this is what I used. It's from Ciati. It's looking a little bit worse for wear <laughs> now. And it is colour The Naked Truth. And that's what I've got on my nails today. It's this nice kind of pale, like ballerina pink kind of colour. Um, so anyway, without any further ado, let's start having a look at my long-lasting summer fragrances. So as you can see, I've got... Sorry about my creaking chair. <laughs> as you can see, I've got quite a few wee fragrances lined up here. Um, this is just a mix of what I've been wearing recently, pretty much. And in amongst these, I have the ones we're going to be looking at. So I think first up today, I want to share with you a layering combination that I've just discovered. I've been wearing it the last few days in a row, actually. And it gives really nice, bright, carefree summer vibes, but it's also very strong, long lasting, and it projects well. And that combination is my Armani My Way which I feel like I haven't really discussed much on my channel these days. Um, I'd kind of forgotten about it for a wee while and then the other day it popped into my head again so I decided to give it a go and I, as I say, I layered it with a fragrance and the one I layered it with was La Vie Rêve from Nino Amadio. And these two together, you guys, it's just incredible. It smells really nice and I feel like they really balance each other out well. I think I've just made a dent in my nail there. <laughs> oh dear. See, that's the problem with doing my nails right before I start filming. They're not fully dry and they're probably going to get bashed and um, dented, but oh well. So these two fragrances here, they layer very well together. Off the top of my head, I'm pretty sure they both have quite a few white florals in there. They have quite a citrusy, orange blossomy kind of accord. Uh, running through them very strongly and um, that's something they both share so that helps them to blend together really well and um, they just sort of enhance one another. La Vie Rêve here, this has a sort of marshmallowy sweetness about it. I believe it also has a Chantilly cream note. So it's just really sweet. It's kind of, it reminds me of uh, whipped cream, marshmallows, things like that. I'm just going to give it a wee smell but yeah, it's very, very sweet. It's got this kind of buttery consistency to it, uh, kind of balmy, very, very smooth and creamy as well. Just really delicious. More of a gourmand, I would say. Um, but it still has that orangey, citrusy, orange blossom, white floral nature to it as well. And the Armani My Way, this fragrance is a very sweet bubblegummy tube rose fragrance, again, with a very strong orange blossom note in there. And Recently, I've actually found the orange blossom to be much stronger in here than I originally noticed, to the point where some days it almost smells more like an orange blossom fragrance than a tube rose fragrance to me. But anyway, so these two fragrances layered together, it's just incredible, you guys. If you own both, um, or if you're... This, this one here is a slightly lesser known fragrance, so maybe you're able to find a sample of it somewhere. Um, but if you can source both of these, try them together and let me know what you think because, oh, whoops, because in my opinion, they just layer together really well. 
And um, to be honest, both fragrances alone have pretty good staying power, I would say, but actually worn together, um, it just makes it overall a much stronger fragrance again. So that's always a plus. Um, but anyway, so that's a really beautiful combination that I discovered just the other day. And I've really been enjoying wearing it like a few days in a row. I do find this fragrance a little bit much sometimes, to be honest. I do find it a little bit intense, just with that piercing kind of bergamot and the orange blossom um, in here. I mean, it's kind of what makes it beautiful, but at the same time, it's quite sharp in a way. It's just very, very strong. And I really have to be in the mood for this. But actually, when I layer La Vie Rêve with this fragrance, um, it kind of calms down that piercing quality that My Way has. It just kind of smoothens that sort of piercing nature of this one out a bit and it adds like a creamy, smooth, um, slightly powdery, marshmallowy quality to it as well, which as you can imagine, it's just wonderful. So um, that's those two there that I think are a fantastic layering combination and they're also very nice and long lasting. My next long lasting summery fragrance is this fragrance right here from the house of Orientica. And this one is Fleur d'Orientica. And it's a relatively new addition into my collection. Um, this fragrance is a really nice peachy, floral, dewy, watery type of scent. It kind of reminds me a fair bit of um, Chloe Lowe, actually. So if you already enjoy the Chloe fragrances, and in particular, if you already know that you enjoy Chloe Lowe, then I do think this one will be up your street. It's got that nice watery, dewy, fruity, floral kind of feeling to it. Just so light-hearted, very calming, very feminine, uh, very easygoing, perfect for every day. Um, I can't really think of any one occasion associated with this type of scent. I think it would be just a great everyday kind of signature type of scent. You could wear it to work, you could wear it just out doing some shopping. It's just that nice, easygoing, easy to wear type of fruity fragrance. The first thing that came to mind when I tried this scent was um, sort of peach bellinis, peach puree, like fresh uh, sort of ground up peaches and peach juice. That's what came to mind when I first tried this fragrance. It definitely has that juicy, fruity quality to it, which again, just um, resonates a lot with summer in my opinion, and even summer holidays to a certain extent, because it has that carefree sort of mood about it. <sighs> And something I definitely noticed about this one, you guys, was the uh, staying power and the overall strength of the fragrance. So this one to me is very, very strong indeed, like much stronger than I was expecting. And as I say, it reminds me a lot of Chloe Lowe, except Chloe Lowe is a much uh, softer scent in general. This is definitely the stronger of the two. And um, it's in a beautiful bottle as well. This is a stunning bottle in my opinion. It reminds me of like a forest with this log kind of feature here and the river sort of form running through it. I just think it's a beautiful bottle and a really pleasant scent indeed. So that one is Fleur d'Orientica from Orientica Parfums. The next long lasting summery fragrance I have in my collection to share with you today is this fragrance here from Mask Milano and this is Dolce Aqua. Now this is such a perfect fragrance for any professional setting. It's got this really nice sort of mineral quality to it um, and the really nice sort of watery florals going on in here as well. I've not smelt this one for a wee while so I'm just going to refresh my memory. Yeah, it's got this very clean, soft, slightly powdery, very calming presence about it. And um, although it's a very soft, calm fragrance, I was really surprised to discover how strong this one is. I mean, it really does have that staying power, it has that projecting power, even though the scent itself is what I would consider to be sort of a shyer, um, softer, more delicate type of scent, if that makes sense. Okay, so main notes of this fragrance include Lily of the Valley, Sea Notes, Almond Blossom, Mimosa, White Rose, Lang Lang, Musk, Oak Moss, uh, saffron, benzoin, and cedarwood as well. I do get a lot of that kind of powdery, um, 
clean kind of mimosa scent, maybe with a touch of the almond blossom as well. Um, overall, this fragrance almost reminded me a little bit of a sort of baby powder. I've just sprayed some on myself to smell it a wee bit better. It's definitely a very clean fragrance and I think it would be perfect in a professional setting. Um, it's also very calming, it's not overly sweet, it's definitely more floral and uh, not overly sweet at all. A nice professional fragrance, uh, very pleasant smelling, very feminine, quite reserved, I would say, maybe more on the formal side. This one also has a nice fresh and clean kind of feeling to it, reminiscent of a sea breeze, which I think lends itself very nicely to the summertime. And as I say, it's a very strong, long lasting fragrance indeed. And that one is Dolce Aqua from Mask Milano. The next long-lasting summery fragrance I'm going to share with you today is this very sweet fragrance, La Nuit Tresor Nude from Longcom. Now this really is for those of you with a sweet tooth out there. Sometimes, in fact most of the time to be honest, this one is a bit too sweet for me. Um, just with that kind of sweet coconutty vanilla, um, that very, very sweet coconut that they have in there. I mean, it's lovely and it's very summery and it reminds me kind of of holidays and things like that. And uh, it's a very happy, uplifting, feminine type of fragrance, but I do find the sweetness a little bit much sometimes. Um, this is actually a perfume that even though it's an eau de toilette, I'm pretty sure it's an eau de toilette. I always forget whether it's an EDT or an EDP, I will find out, but um, to me, this is definitely on the stronger side and I don't need to spray very much of this one. I will go in with a lighter application because otherwise I find it just too much, too suffocating and a bit sickly. But it's definitely a very good option for a summery, coconutty, sweet, vanilla, mm, rosy, bright, happy kind of fragrance. And that one is Lanry Tresor Nude from Longcom. And uh, next up today, I want to show you this beautiful summery fragrance from Nooks and this is Prodigy Le Parfum. This one is absolutely stunning you guys and the fragrance on its own I wouldn't say is overly strong. It's probably like a 5 out of 10 or a 6 out of 10 but what I would say is if you get the oil, the sort of matching oil and put the oil on first and then layer your fragrance, um, it's definitely much stronger. So that's when I remember, of course, that's what I try and do. So I'll apply the oil to my pulse points and then I will spray this fragrance over top and it definitely lasts much longer. I can smell it better on myself. It creates more of a sillage and everything like that. So um, it's definitely worth checking out and I would say it's worth picking up the oil as well, actually, because they smell so divine. They're kind of like the more luxurious, refined, elegant version of, say, um, this one here. Like, this This is definitely a beachy fragrance, La Nuit Tresor Nude, but as I say, it's just very sweet. It's almost syrupy in nature, and it's, it's not really what I would consider to be a very refined or elegant fragrance. It's just very fun, it's quite loud, um, very kind of girly, that type of thing. But this one here, it's almost like the luxurious, um, finished, more elegant version of a fragrance like that, because this still has your sort of coconutty nuance in there, but it's just very subtle, you guys. It's not as obvious as this. It's just, it's, it's more... Some of the main notes of this fragrance include orange blossom, mandarin orange, um, bergamot, gardenia, magnolia, rose, coconut milk, vanilla and pebbles. So, um, I mean, the notes themselves are quite different, but as far as the mood of each of these fragrances go, uh, this is the more refined, elegant, beachy fragrance, in my opinion. It's just so smooth, it's so well blended, it's not too sweet, it's got a very subtle sweetness in there. And I almost feel like it gets kind of sweeter the longer it's on your skin. It's just got a lot more nuance to it and um, it's just a really stunning fragrance. Let me know if you've tried this one. I kind of think it's like the ultimate summery, beachy fragrance and I much prefer it to my La Nuit Tresor Nude. That fragrance is kind of hit, hit or miss with me, to be honest, but I, I always enjoy wearing this one. You know, it's just so easy to wear, particularly in this really warm weather that we're having at the moment. This is just such a nice go-to fragrance. Um, I can see me wanting the bigger bottle of this, actually. 
once I run out, um, but it's just such a beautiful one. So that's Prodigy Le Parfum from Nux and the matching um, scented oil. Next up today we have the stunning fragrance Blue Turquoise from Armani and this is from their sort of exclusive Privé line. I absolutely love this fragrance you guys. I cannot say enough good things about this one, I just really love it. Um, the only thing really about this one is the saltiness in here is pretty strong, particularly within the first few hours of wearing it, but then it kind of mellows out and becomes smoother and you get more of those sorts of creamier notes coming through, like the vanilla, the florals, the woody notes, and there's something almost reminiscent of pine in here as well. It's definitely a very, very strong fragrance, perhaps one of the strongest out of this whole list. Um, this one and My Way, I would probably say, are up there with the strongest fragrances. Um, there's just something about this that reminds me of summertime and luxurious, resorts, spa getaways, things like that. It's just such a stunning and unique luxurious fragrance. Okay, so in this perfume you've got your salt, your incense, your black pepper, your lang lang, cypriol oil, your jasmine, and then you've got your vanilla, sandalwood and moss in the base notes. So just such an unusual, unique mix of notes there. Um, just incredible, you guys. I would say this is like a masterpiece fragrance as far as I'm concerned. It's just beautiful and like I say, it's incredibly strong and long-lasting. I actually underestimated that about this one when I first got it. I don't know why... I don't know why I thought it would be like weaker, but um, I certainly did not expect it to be so strong. Sometimes it is a little bit overpowering if I spray too much of it actually, so I, I try and be conscious of that, but it's just such a good one. Let me know in the comments what you think of this one, if you agree with me and you think it's sort of deserving of the hype that it receives. Um, I certainly do think it does deserve the hype. I think it's beautiful and I'm glad I picked up the bigger bottle of it. So that one's Blue Turquoise from Armani, a beautiful, luxurious, long-lasting, summery fragrance. And last up today, but by no means least, we have the stunning Angel EDT from Mugler, and this is definitely a beautiful, more easygoing, lighter weight Mugler scent to wear during the summer, although with that being said, it is still quite strong. So in this perfume, you've got your kind of signature angel DNA. However, I would say the patchouli is really dialed down in here. The patchouli in here is not nearly as strong as it is in the EDP, which I think for me personally makes it a little bit more palatable. It makes it that little bit more easy to wear. Um, I haven't quite gone ahead and committed to purchasing a bottle of the EDP yet because I, I actually find the patchouli in that one to be a bit too much. I mean, I think if I was ever to buy it, it would probably be in the colder months because that's when I would feel more drawn to a heavier scent like that. Um, but this one here, it's just really beautiful with that kind of gourmand fruity praline element and that little hint of patchouli, but as I say, it doesn't overwhelm the scent. Um, and the fact it's an EDT, it just makes it that little bit less intense for wearing in the warmer months. And the scent itself, it's a very playful, happy, uplifting, fruity, sweet, gourmand type of scent with your vanilla as well. And I just think it's such a nice one to wear all year round, to be quite honest, but even in the summertime as well. And that one is Angel, the EDT from Mugler. So there we have it, you guys. Those are some of my um, long-lasting summery fragrance recommendations. Let me know if you've tried any of these. Let me know what you think of them. Um, I'd be really interested to hear and I always love hearing from you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like and leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. And I cannot wait to see you again in my next video. Bye.